Ah, oh, you arrived just in time to hand me my shoes. Not a chance. Now, I will have you tied to the bed if necessary, but you are not going anywhere. Oh. Did you understand, Sky? We're running out of time. Well, in case your memory is a little hazy, allow me to remind you. You were shot in the head. You had bullet fragments removed from your brain. I think you need to stay in the hospital a little while longer to recover, or else you could risk injuring yourself even worse. I don't have the luxury of a long convalescence. Shipment's going to arrive any day, and I have to be ready. All right, let me ask you. These people that you're dealing with, they expect you to handle it personally, correct? Yes. And this shipment, whatever it is, it's very important to them, isn't it? It's crucial. Well, then why can't you just explain what's going on? Tell them that you were seriously injured and you just need a little more time. It doesn't work that way. Well, why not? Now, if this arrival of the shipment is so critical, maybe your associates will accept a slight delay in return for a healthy point, man. Because these people are not only ruthless, they're also short-sighted. And they can't see past their immediate needs. Yeah, well, I can't either right now, okay? And my immediate need is to make sure the father of my little girl doesn't push himself into having a seizure or stroke. Please, will you at least try to delay the shipment? All right. I'll speak with them. But I'm going to need your help. <laughs> what, no flowers? Oh, you seem to be recovering just fine without any encouragement from me. As disappointing as that must be, I can't blame you for taking advantage of the situation. It's a nice try poisoning my IV. Almost worked. I was in a room with 20 other people, as you well know. Not that I wouldn't love to see you dead, but I didn't try to kill you. And as much as I hate to admit it, it seems that my brother shot you in self-defense. Well, I doubt you'll be trying to prove that in court. No, we're moving forward with the case of attempted murder. And we'll probably get a court date, but I don't think we're going to go to a jury. The police picked up the woman that you used to plant the gun. Now, I'm sure with her testimony, Sonny's lawyer is going to be able to prove self-defense. And with her testimony, of course, she's also going to be able to prove premeditation on your part, which makes the case against you shooting Sonny a heck of a lot stronger, Alcazar. Well, Rick, who's to say this witness is telling the truth? Oh, I can't prove it in a court of law, but I'm pretty sure that she is. But the thing that bothers me here is, what pushed your panic button, hmm? I mean, why was it so important for you to kill Sonny immediately? And then when you botched the whole thing, why did you, why did you pull out of all of your operations, and why did Sonny pull out of his? Maybe we've decided to declare a truce. Or maybe it's calm before a very big storm. You know, if you were as smart as you like to think you are, you'd stop asking questions now. As it stands, nothing concerns the PCPD or the district attorney's office, so I would suggest you do yourself a favor and leave it that way. Mm -hmm. Or what? Suppose I keep asking questions. Well, then I imagine you'll wind up dead. Not by my hand, but... On second thought, Rick, ask as many questions as you would like. I won't be able to answer them. Perhaps you know someone at Langley. What are you implying exactly? Here's the more relevant question. Why is the DA badgering a crime victim who just had brain surgery? You're here questioning Lorenzo on a criminal matter. Without the aid of counsel, knowing full well he's incapacitated by pain medication. In short, you are violating Lorenzo's civil rights. And if you don't leave right now, I will not only go screaming to the media, I will file a lawsuit that will bankrupt the city, not to mention get you out of office. Well, I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I mean, those are completely empty threats, Scott. But they were delivered with such passion and conviction. I'm a little confused, though. When did you all of a sudden become Lorenzo Alcazar's personal cheering section? Well, you've certainly come a long way from the desperate pregnant woman who tried to escape Alcazar by leaving the country. By the way, did you know that he wanted you thrown in jail for trying to steal your unborn child? Well, I think it's a little too late to divide and conquer, Rick. You see, Lorenzo and I have settled our differences. And if you don't leave right now, I'm going to call security. What you need to do is get a little perspective here, Sky, because whatever is going on here that has caused Lorenzo to shut down his operations and whatever Sonny... My point is you have no right to exhaust Lorenzo with such pointless questions. Now, must I remind you that he was shot in the head, in cold blood, by your own brother, I might add. But you seem perfectly willing to slow down Lorenzo's recovery, perhaps even making his injury worse. 
Oh, so you're saying that I'm, I'm talking Lorenzo to death? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you. So unless you have an update on the case against Corinthians... The case against Sonny is going forward, leave. as well as the case against you. You know, your poor, helpless Lorenzo here planted a gun in the coffee house, and he went there with the express purpose of trying to kill Sonny. Do I need to remind you of the evidence I still hold against you, Rick? Or were you hoping that I'd forgotten it? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. The evidence that will destroy your career and greatly complicate this custody fight you've started with Alexis. So I suggest you mind your own business and allow me and Skye to mind ours. Did you bring it? I did. Your direct line to whoever it is you work for. I may have to say some things that you're better off not hearing. I could have used a few salient details when Mr. Craig was around. Anyway, knowledge is power. Not always. Hey, I'm in this way too deep to back out now. Yes, uh, I've had some some difficulties. We need to delay the shipment. Well, if it's already on its way, then divert it. I'm not trying to back out. I understand what's at stake. I've made the arrangements. Continue as planned. Well, there won't be any problems on this end. You have no idea how much pleasure it's going to give me to destroy this thing once this is over. Not even a possibility. Oh, this shipment just lead to another, and another. Well, I think if this transfer is successful, my associates won't risk repeating themselves. I don't think they'll try to move anything that's crucial through my networks again. And if the transfer fails, I'll be dead. So either way, this could be my last job. Well, then we will just have to make sure that it doesn't fail. Because your daughter and I, we want you around for a very long time.